23 2nd of October. And today we also mark the inauguration of this special exhibition on Gandhi and world peace that we had the opportunity to, to visit just, just uh, this morning. I would like to thank, of course, the National Gandhi Museum uh, and my dear friend Taraji, who is not with us yet today, but uh, will be later, for organizing this very special event. And especially thanks to all of you, the young people, the students, uh, who are donating your Sunday to be with us. And I'd like to congratulate in advance everybody, all of the students who have participated in the contest. You are all winners for having joined up Antonio Guterres on this occasion of International Day of Nonviolence. And I quote, the International Day of Nonviolence celebrates not only Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, but the values he embodied that echo across the decades. Peace, mutual respect, and the essential dignity shared by every person. Sadly, our world is not living up to those values. We see this through growing conflicts and climate chaos, poverty, hunger, deepening inequalities, prejudice, racism, and rising hate, uh, hate speech and a morally bankrupt global financial system that entrenches poverty and stymies recovery for developing countries. We can defeat these challenges by embracing Gandhi's values and working across cultures and borders to build a better, more peaceful future for all. By investing in people's health, education, decent jobs, and social protection to prevent people from falling and to catch them when they do, by ensuring access to financing and debt relief for all countries, by supporting developing countries as they build resilient infrastructure and protect populations from the impacts of climate change, while also accelerating the transition from planet-killing fossil fuels to renewable energy by securing and upholding the rights vulnerable and girls and women too who are too often denied their basic rights. By taking concrete action for inclusion, recognizing multicultural, multi-religious, and multi-ethnic societies as a richness, not a threat. Gandhi's life will walk this path together in solidarity as one human family. End quote. The vision of peace and tolerance is at the very core of the United Nations architecture and inspired every leader of modern nonviolent movements across the world. From Dr. Martin Luther King to Nelson Mandela and many, many more. Yet the greatest long-term threat to our survival also comes as a result of people failing to heed Gandhi's call. He was ahead of his time in foretelling the coming and the current climate crisis that we are feeling across the world today due to our violence against nature. Whether it's heat waves in Australia or the Punjab or hurricanes in Florida, that no country is untouched by. We are in this small boat called Earth together. The Global Sustainable Development Goal, about which Gandhi long ago, he urged that we should not look upon the natural resources, water, air, land, as inheritance, but rather as a loan, and that the Earth has enough for all of our needs, but not for all of our greed. Gandhiji was intimidating when we think about trying to be just like him. But his message was that we each in our own way can be the change that we wish to see in the world. And I've seen this spirit embodied here in India, across the country, 
in the less than a year that I've been able to travel to so many different states in this incredible country. And the young people that I've met, from the world's largest beach cleanup, the Warsaw Beach in Mumbai, to witnessing the inspiring young people, this people are the greatest youth generation in the history of the world in any country. You have the power to transform your households, your schools, your communities, and thanks to this digital world, more than ever before, those whom you've never met in countries far, far away. Through your acts of compassion, kindness, and care for people, happy non-violence day. Aap sabi ko ahinsa divas ki the Ambassador of the Embassy of the Republic of Estonia, Mrs. Catherine Kim. I am a director of the uh, National Gallery Museum, uh, Rashid Garani, respective audience. I am truly honored to speak to you today uh, on the uh, when we commemorate the anniversary of the father of the Indian nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, you all uh, must know what does it mean to be an influencer and have an Instagram. Uh, but Mahatma Gandhi in his time, he didn't try to uh, be an influencer or uh, make an impact or impress. His goal was to inspire people and he managed really to do so. And this is why his uh, legacy is uh, like... Um, still uh, with us and is more important than ever because all these, what he did, um, be it uh, uh, protect, uh, uh, calling up to protect the Mother Earth, uh, calling for non-violence, Ahimsa, and world peace, Vishwa Shanti, we, we all are uh, very, very busy with the same road today because we know uh, how um, how much the climate is uh, in danger, we know. That's the National Gandhi Museum. And today there is this Gandhi and world peace. We have the UN officials who are giving the speech out here today. Statue of Gandhi Ji. This is UN function for Gandhiji on 2nd October. Sonia and her movement to get independence before the restore the for the singing revolution. Thank you. Another inspiring story, a non-violent revolution. So thank you, Madam. And now we have conducted so many competitions for schools and colleges. And now I request our chief guest, Mr. Chompi and Mrs. Chompi, to distribute the prizes and the certificates. And uh, especially from uh, the students from NARC and people of NARC, we can experience the traditional folk dances of Tamil Nadu. So please be here the various competitions.